And we are loving this nice, cooler weather we're experiencing here in Georgia. Feels good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yep. So we're going to go look for some stuff that we can use as a craft to celebrate the autumn equinox. So, one of the activities we are going to do is make our own dye using poke berries so that we can write our intentions for the fall out. That'll be so cool. So we're gonna collect some poke berries. All right, put some of those berries into your basket. Get as many as you can. Oh Rowan, you can pick two while you hold the basket. Try not to break them in your hand because they're gonna stain your fingers. Yep. See? And don't eat them. Oh, I just stained. Yeah. I don't do it that way. Don't do it that way. Okay, Mama did it wrong. This is a messy activity. The berries are bursting as I touch them. Okay, so I'm finding it easier to pick the whole droop of berries at once. And then in the house, we can smash the berries up. <laughs> Odin, don't you go in that water. Wow, it has rained that much. <laughs> That's a lot of rain. Don't step in it. So I just want to stress how important it is that you teach your children not to eat anything they find in the wild without checking with a grown-up first. This is something that I have stressed on my kids since they were little that we have always foraged for food, but to never forage for food without a grown-up and always check with a grown-up before consuming anything that you find that you think might be edible. It is extremely important that children do not eat berries that they don't know what they are. That should be enough to get us started. <laughs> so we are gonna go look for two sticks about six to eight inches long for each person. They nice, nice, straight, strong sticks, small ones, so that we can make our own God's eye weaving. There you go, just break it right there. All right, that should match up to your other one. You want them to be about the same length and width. That should work. Yeah, because... Let me see yours. Perfect, nice straight sticks. Good job. So, so far, our leaves haven't really started falling in Georgia. That'll be a while for us. But our walnut tree is definitely starting to drop its leaves. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pluck a couple of these green walnuts off of the black walnut tree so that I can make a walnut hole tincture for parasites and other uses. All right, we found some walnuts that had fallen. So we picked those up and we're gonna make a tincture with the hole. We're gonna make a dye, we're gonna make a God's eye. It's gonna be a fun fall day. You love your kitties, don't you? <laughs> Oops, stepped in water. <laughs> All right, go ahead and remove the stems and the green berries and we'll discard those and we'll save all the red berries in there. Cool. You're gonna get so red. Your finger is gonna be so purple. Q-tip, dip it into your paint, and I want you to draw or write something that you want to happen this fall. Something that's good and positive in your life. And it can be a picture or words, whichever you prefer. Ooh, 
Are you going to climb a mountain? Yeah, I want to climb a mountain. That's a very cool thing to want to do. Good job, boys. Tell me about yours, Liam. I want to climb a mountain, and also I want to stay the night. And I want to like, find this guy just waving. And I want to be there. Oh, I'm an egg stand right there. Oh, very cool. That sounds like a good thing to want to do. So we will try to climb a mountain this fall and stay the night. Oh, that sounds like a fun thing to do. Maybe we could go apple picking in the mountains of Georgia. Yeah. All right, for our next project, I am cutting off any of these nubs on the sticks and getting them ready to make a cross. And then we're gonna take our yarn and weave it and weave it around and around, going over and under each branch when we reach it to make a God's eye. A lot of the directions for this cross, they use popsicle sticks and they glue them together. I just tied together the two stakes that I'm with the same color yarn that I'm gonna start my thing with. So I just tied a knot and I'll just trim off the edges or put them at the back and tie them down or something. So there we go, that's my start. And then I'm gonna start weaving it around and I'm gonna go over and under and come back and over and under and come back and over and under and come back over and under. And I'm gonna continue until I have, you know, a little bit of a center going and then I'm gonna change my color. All right, so that's a good start. I am going to cut my string off and tie it to the next color of my choosing. Hmm, what color should I do next? All right, let me see. Is that your finished product? Yep. And you did a really color. good job. Good job, guys. Did you have fun making those? Yeah. Was it hard? Um, some of it, but yeah. mostly it was really easy. It's pretty it fun. Was it fun? Yeah. yeah. Good. So you cut away all of the green hull and you add that hull to your mason jar and you cover it with green alcohol and you let it steep for six to eight weeks to make a tincture. A word of caution though, if you have anywhere to be where your nails have to look nice, wear gloves. I've washed my hands 15 million times. Yep, that's how they look. My fingertips are starting to regain their color, but the nail beds, not so much. Those were clean. <laughs>